So welcome to our farmhouse. I'm Caroline. I'm Sean. And we're excited to show you the progress we've been doing on our farmhouse so far. Uh, it might not look like much, but it is actually a lot of progress compared to when we first moved in. Yeah. So welcome. And we can't wait to take you like the next year or two as we finish uh, fixing up the farmhouse and as we decorate it and remodel and do all sorts of stuff. We're really excited. The beginning of January, fresh new year, and hopefully by the end of this year, we will be up in this house. Here's our two acres, and then we're surrounded by 80 acres. That's the neighbors, and that is our shop house. So we are currently living down there. And there is our son's shop, the two-car garage, is where he works and has lots of fun in. And we walk up and down this little path multiple times a day, going back and forth between the farmhouse and the shop house. So we closed on this house last December, December 15th to be exact, and we knew it was going to be a project, but we didn't know it was going to be quite as big of a project. Well, Sean did, I didn't. You know, I always think everything's going to be so much easier than it really is. Um, but this is a 1800s farmhouse, and we might have been crazy to buy it, but we fell in love with the farmhouse and the two acres in the country, and so we bought it. It's three bedrooms. It was um, sort of one bath where it was going to be three bathrooms when we're done. And it's just really sweet. We love our neighbors. We love the location. So we're going to make it work for us. Okay, here we go. It's just like it's snowed insulation. But the ceiling is open. This is crazy. This is gonna be so much work to shovel this all out. All right, so here is the project we're working on for the master bedroom. So you come up the stairs and we built in this wall and you can kind of see the whole view of the room. It's got these lovely pitch ceilings that I love and we're trying to recreate that in the children's rooms to a smaller degree. Um, but Sean framed in this wall, which he's never framed anything. He was a cabinet maker for quite a few years, um, but he's never done framing. So this was a new experience. Uh, this is going to be the door and then that'll be the bathroom, which we'll explain in more detail. But I really like all of the fresh light, not fresh light. I love all of the, the light coming in from um, outside. It's just so nice. And so that's why we've created these openings up here to let more light come in from the bathroom. And then we've got the two windows over there. And then I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do with these closets. Um, it's the only closets that are in the bedrooms at this point. Uh, and I mean, they're good sized closets, but I don't really want to put doors on them necessarily. I might do like old fashioned look and do curtains or something. So I'm just trying to decide. And we're gonna do a built-in dresser with bookcases. So it'll be half dresser that Sean is gonna build all of this. It'll be half dresser down here and then bookcases going up to where he's at. So we are gonna like bring in the um, closet some to accommodate for that. So um, that's our plans. Okay, so this is our attic space, basically, which is not very usable right now. But that's where we're just gonna frame this back about nine inches or so. There's gonna be a little shelf right there that'll all be sheetrocked in. This will all be closed off, and we're probably gonna use this for storage. And then back there through the little opening, we're gonna finish that out, and that's gonna be like a little loft for the girls. They can go up there and read a book or something, so. Mine and my workout clothes. Yep, and there's our <laughs> bathroom. That's going to be our master bathroom. There's the door and showers over in the corner. There's going to be a tub over against the windows. And then we've got these little transoms. We get shower right here, yep. tub over there, vanity over there, um, toilet right here, here. Yeah, right there. Right here. And then Sean's going to build a cabinet, a linen closet right here. And then here's the door that opens up. Come in. <laughs> so, and we haven't decided yet if we're going to put the bed coming out this way or the bed coming out from the windows coming out this way. So we've got to decide that. So 
I'm excited. We have our own room. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have going on here? There was nothing here. There was no wall. Well, the, well, there was a little tiny half wall right here. And it wasn't even a true wall. Yeah, so we framed, so this is our bedroom. So we're wanting to create some privacy. And so we framed it. Really? For a while. Against eight children? Yeah. I wonder why. Yeah, we haven't had that for a while. No. But anyway, frame this off, and then this is going to kick back a little bit. So this is going to be like a little framed in alcove. So kind of like decorate. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I thought this was a yay moment, and Sean said it's not. He made it too tight. I have a problem with that. <laughs> you have a problem with that <laughs> from your years of cabinet making days? <laughs> Is it bringing back memories? Stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Just being stupid. Okay, you'll get it. You'll get it. All right, what's the joke? Can you hear some jokes? No. Yeah. Okay, Please. what do you. I made these up. I just made these up. Okay. Okay. What do you call a drill soaked in vinegar? <laughs> <laughs> we call a drill soaked in vinegar. What? Drill pickle. <laughs> da -da 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 <laughs> what do you call a British spy that wants? <laughs> stop, no, you can't please, even stop say it. What do you call a British spy that wants to spend time with his son? Oh, oh. Are you the British spy? <laughs> James Bondy. Oh, <laughs> so bad. Was the highest over there just die? So bad. Uh, what was the other one I told? Was, I forget now. Um, <laughs> elevators are selling something in the back alley. No, whatever. <laughs> Please. Oh yeah. What do you? Oh yeah. What, you, what did the guy say in the back alley that was selling levels on the black market? What? Is this on the level? <laughs> okay, that one's funny. These are terrible. That was kind of funny. <laughs> this is for professionals only. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whoa! Sean! Not break glass. Is that gonna. Is that gonna. There's no glass. Okay. I'm gonna save this fan for later. Oh, oh yeah. How you do it, huh? Uh-huh. That's why we cut the wires. Hello. Hello. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah, we're smart. <laughs> Safety tip 101. Touch live wires with a screwdriver to make sure they're safe. <laughs> okay, that's that sounds Only great. If you have a strong suspicion that they are safe. Yeah. But if you need to double check, just tap it with a screwdriver. <laughs> Don't do that. That right there. Okay. Totally don't pull out a voltage meter to double check. Just tap it with a screwdriver. Okay. I need those snips. Uh, what did you just do? Uh, we're cutting wires. We don't know if they're live or not. <laughs> we're pretty sure that they're not. They're not live. We cut them all. I, I touched it with a screwdriver to it's totally safe. <laughs> so I just realized that they raised the ceiling, and it looks awesome. Was hard as hard as you thought. Awesome. You do look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing. The ceiling looks awesome, right? The ceiling and you. Yes. Yes. Yay! I'm so excited. It's gonna look better. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Nails. There's probably thirty nails in each board. <laughs> How are you gonna get? The sawzall down that far, you're just gonna bend the blade. Yeah, you just bend the blade. Okay. All right. So the boys last night, Sean had some church uh, stuff to do, so he was gone. But the boys last night ripped out the bathroom ceiling. We really debated if we were gonna do it, but we weren't gonna be able to get the shower head in. So we've got the little clawfoot tub. It's a small little clawfoot tub, but um, it'll be great for the girls. And it has a shower head, so I'll do a. a curtain that goes all the way around uh and but the shower head was not going to be able to be on if we did not raise the ceiling and so we decided it was worth it to go ahead and raise the ceiling so right now the whole <laughs> the whole roof is or whole ceiling is open and this wall might come out and the wall is going to come out yes Ooh. <laughs> oh you're oh you're going to take it out well, i don't know yet i don't know we were just going to build onto it like well you explain yeah, we're gonna fur it out. Fur it out, right? That's the word I was looking for. Maybe we, we strengthen it, but I don't know if we should just rip it out and replace it. I don't know. 
I don't know much about construction, so. Um, yeah, it's a very cheap little wall. You can see. Well, it's it's solid wood. Well, okay, it's solid wood. But we when we came look at the house, we're like, why is there a hole? We still don't really know why there's this hole right here. Yeah. So that's the latest. So what what are you gonna do today? Uh, well, we're gonna lift the ceiling. We're gonna decide what to do about this wall. Mm-hmm. Um, that's plenty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so they did raise the ceiling in the boys' room too. So it looks great. I'm excited. So it'll be sheetrocked and come up and then have the flat um, spot right there. I'm really excited. So it's, how high is it? Nine foot four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be great for our six foot two sons. <laughs> I was actually, actually hoping you'd go down. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go up here. June. 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 Look. Hi. Are you way up high? Are you up yeah. there? You big boy. Big boy sitting up here. Say hi, Mama. Hi, buddy. Hang on now. Hang on. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> I picked these three screws for me. Ooh, just perfect. The, the right, the, just the right three screws for this. Good job, Mosiah. I'm so talented. Aren't Good I? job. <laughs> You're doing an amazing help just sitting there. Oh, yeah. He is. Yeah, he Moral support. Okay. Moral help. Okay. <laughs> what was that? I got dust on my drill. Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the clean freak around here? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you uh, do know your way around some power tools, don't you? Yeah. You, you've managed to do just a few, huh? Mm-hmm. Just a few. Just a few. I ran a table saw for years without cutting your fingers off. Yes, thankfully. Thankfully. <laughs> so they're putting rafter, are you putting rafters in? Yes. Yeah, they're putting rafters in right now. And then this is the loft area. It will be the loft area for, hopefully, for the girls. <laughs> Mosiah is absolutely loving hands-on school. <laughs> Instead of uh, bookwork school right now. And then you come around here, and then this is the boys' room. And they did the same thing. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Well, we're, we're still putting the loft in the bathroom or above the bathroom. And so we ripped out the ceiling and uh, it was all two by fours. So we got to put something, put some two by sixes up here. And we, uh, we level off of this, the first ones that we put in. So we're coming, we're coming across here. So we just got to make sure that this is level. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> starting to sprinkle so i think olivia put on the baby blanket because of that what or just to have fun uh, well no it's gonna start raining so i just put it on okay <laughs> so sean wanted them to pick up all the wood and bring down to the burn pile stuff they tore out of the house we are doing a almost 10 o'clock trip to home depot to get more boards the last night of my baby being a minor. Woo! <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> Turned 18 oh, tomorrow. This one's clean. Won't be able to push anything. This one's clean. Not That's strong. Like, <laughs> you push it like this. Whatever. Whatever. You do. You. I like this one. Take a ride on. There's no riding. What are we doing? I know, I, I thought there was like a... 
you plan on VIP service? VIP service? No. White I, I don't know if you're. You get a little better board than that right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if you were planning something else. <laughs> Do we know how to get wood to the van? <laughs> the boards are wet now. Uh oh. Mr. Perfectionist does not like that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you helping Emily? Yeah. Do you like helping? That door, you just have to slam it. You gotta slam it. Here's our house in construction, along with our fall tree. Okay, so Sean has the boys' room all framed in pretty much. He's just finishing out the last board. So then the sheetrock can go in, which we're not ready for sheetrock overall, but this room's getting close, right? Yes. Yes. So he framed in that whole little area. So the other side up there will be the girls' loft. Okay, now it's my turn. I get to videotape Mama, or Caroline, sorry, putting this screw in. Let's see if she can do it. I pre-drilled it. Oh, oh, oh. Is that right? Yeah, keep it. Keep it. Oh, she, oh, almost. Look at her go. I'm not very good at this, Sean. This is why you are the expert. <laughs> like, put it out the other I side raised there. the babies. Good job. Now you can say you had a hand. In I, I had a hand. The, one, one our house. She did good, didn't she, Sophie? <laughs> Hello? Did Mama do good? <laughs> what do you think about that, Jackson? Did Mama do good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sean has a closet framed up. This one's for the boys, right? Yeah, it's just the face of it. So we're, we have to be very unique in how we're doing these closets. And they're little. Very little. So I'm standing in the closet right now. I'll show you the girls' room closet. So you come in the door right here. Here's the closet. It's, it's very unique. We're gonna have just like accordion doors right here or a curtain, something. I'm gonna make it as cute as I can. And then you can just hang up clothes, obviously not really long dresses, but hang up clothes right here. And then we'll have a little shelf right here.